Another question that we come across often, and it's the misconception or the lack of understanding, even among the medical people, between natural progesterone or progesterone, progestin, and progestogen. Yes, they take progesterone and they change the molecule. And the progestins were designed because they discovered that progesterone, when taken orally, was destroyed in the gut and the liver. So to overcome this, so they could add uh, it to the contraceptive pill, because they realized both hormones were needed, they came up with the progestins. And there are many now. Some are derived from progesterone. Some, unfortunately, are derived from testosterone. So they have androgenic properties. So it can cause um, acne and skin problems and facial hair in women who use them. Um, there are dozens now on the market, but all in every one of them, the actual progesterone molecule has been changed. There are some, so much adverse effects in regards to progestins and progestogens that makes people a bit scared and they don't understand how safe natural progesterone is because of the adverse effect that there are with progestin and progestogen that there's a bit of a mixed up and confusion arising from that, isn't it? Oh, hugely. And I think principally because this, the papers and doctors use the term interchangeably. And luckily, there are many people who realize, and I've got papers, where they say not all progestins are created equal. And they, they compare the natural with the others. And it, it, I'm, I'm glad, because I, I just wish, though, this would get through to the medical profession, that there are very, very different substances. Very, very different. Uh, the, the one thing they found, and this came out through the TBI um, studies, is because they tried MPA, you know, medoxyprogesterone acetate, which is commonly known as Provera, they tried that. And it does reduce edema like progesterone does, but there it ends. The, it cannot be metabolized into the same metabolites that I mentioned earlier that progesterone is. So you won't get allopregnanolone being made, which has this potent analgesic anti-anxiety effect. So they're very, very different. The body cannot metabolize it into the me metabolites, which are also vital. One day it might get known. Is Provera, Premarin, are they as uh, widely used today as it was uh, 15 years ago? No. They did the Women's Health Initiative and they did the study in England called the Million Woman Study. And the results from that uh, really puzzled people because they found that the uh, things that they thought estrogen was helping for actually became worse. And women heard about this, of course, so stopped using it a huge amount. They're now trying to persuade women to use estrogen only for as a shorter period of time and as low a dose as possible to get rid of menopausal symptoms. But you and I know that progesterone gets rid of them safely without taking the risk of using estrogen. So I don't see the point of it.